Welcome to the day's business. I'm uh, holding the fort for Betty Kiptum, who is away. Now, Kenya is banking on the cultivation and importation of genetically modified products to close the food trade deficit with its regional neighbors. National Biosafety Authority Chief Executive Officer Roy Mugira says the country is preparing to defend the decision to lift the ban on GMO foods at the EAC court in a bid to protect local farmers from cheap regional food imports. The case filed by Uganda Lobby Group is coming up for hearing mid-April at the ESC Court of Justice. In the Center for Food and Adequate Living Rights sued the Kenyan government at the East African Court of Justice early this year to stop Kenya from lifting a 10-year ban on the cultivation and importation of genetically modified foods. The lobby group wants the EAC court to issue an order stopping the cultivation and importation of GMOs in the East African region. The lobby group says the lifting of the ban poses a potential risk to the region of food sovereignty and was against the treaty for the establishment of the EAC and the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. Tanzania, for example, when we have data, regularly imports soybean from Argentina and soybean and, and canola for, for oil and animal feed manufacture is uh, almost 100% in Argentina and the U.S. GM. So, um, uh, on the other hand, we have information that uh, Rwanda also authorized the importation of uh, yellow maize and also importation of uh, soybean and canola. That is GM. However, Kenya says the ban on GMO has led to an increase in the cost of food production over the years. To say that our neighboring countries are not doing GM technology, probably not doing the they are importing. National Biosafety Authority Chief Executive Officer Roy Mugira says the GMO has allowed the importation of cheap GMO feeds, making their products cheaper, outpricing Kenyan products at the market. Associations and trade um, uh, positioning is selfish. We must be selfish as a country, as Kenya, and say that they are making um, eggs and, and milk and other products um, within lower cost because they can access affordable inputs outside the, in the global market that are GM. Kenya now says the lifting of the GMO ban will reduce the country's regional food trade deficit and the overall food import bill. Benson Ryoba reporting for Prime edition.